Look, can't complain, man. Everything's great. Yeah. I'm Gucci, I'm straight. Nothing but positive five this way. Really just blessed to see another day. God done gave me a whole lot of great. Greetings, greetings. Welcome back to the shadows. I'm so Pisces. Welcome, yin gang gang. This is your full moon reading, blood moon, my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Today for me is Thursday, the sun is in Libra. The moon is in what? I didn't know. Yeah, the moon is in Aries, currently at 100% elimination. However, all of my readings are timeless, so whenever you see this, you were just meant to see this. This is Gangstar Tarot. I am intercessing on behalf of all signs, earth, air, fire, water, and space. I embody all and space, representing the seven energies. Space embodies sound, light, and love. Water signs, we are love. We are light, we are sound. Mm. Here, five. Angel number, who's that? 30. It's the angel number 30. Snow moon, pure purity. 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 So, yeah. I'm feeling like there's a purification process going on right then. We have angel number nine, assessing. So the more that you are assessing, the more you kind of look at things without your eyes, looking with that third eye, really going under the veil and pray, the more you begin to assess things using your intuition, beginning to feel pure, beginning to want to eat healthy, beginning to want to make better decisions. Um beautiful for some of you i'm also feeling there's a purity you the way that you see things the way that you see the world um the way that you look at the world your perspective is a lot different it's very pure Goes right there. spirit outer signs pisces cancer scorpio hot moon extremes and reverse yeah, feeling because of this purification and assessing things, a lot of the extremes in life you've already been through. Um, been through the fire. Thankful for it. So now we have been through what you would call in tarot, tower moment. Should pop out with the cards. However, harvest moon, things have not come into fruition yet. Okay. So we're assessing, we're in the purification process. Um, a lot of you, um, when I get fruition, I'm thinking about manifesting, scripting, um, not going through too many extremes, being able to control your atmosphere, being able to control your environment. Maybe there's no passion. Maybe someone's needing to make love when I see this card. Um, really needing that, uh, seeing the love in a different perspective, water sign. Okay, spirit. Clarify. Forgot to give you guys a little bit of my dragon blood sage. Tis the season for dragon's blood. Okay, spirit, why is purity assessing oh my God. extremes? and fruition here for my water signs. Sorry about that water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I need a little bit of um, Palo Santo. If we don't have any issues. Oh. I do apologize. So why is purity when assessing extremes?
extremes for Titian in reverse. So, I'm feeling like the more that you purify yourself, the more that you get along in spirit, intuition, um, the more that it is you're doing or whatever you're doing, it seems like you're not going through any extremes in lives. Uh, this could be good and bad. I feel like you're not having any passion. Maybe your significant other doesn't like you the same. You're feeling very... Any of the things that you really want haven't come to fruition. However, you're in a good spot. Okay, spirit. Seven of crystals. This would be like a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So you could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's a completion coming as you purify. You're getting along, working on things. Working, you're growing something here. As you get in the purification process, we are working on something here. Something to do with your money. It could be in a job situation. Uh, purifying the way you think about my, Okay. Sage of Orbs. This is like the queen of freaking swords. Okay. Mentally good. Uh, you are assessing things. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Sun is in Libra. Seeker of Orbs. Okay. No longer going through extremes when you were young minded. Now you are assessing things. You have become wise. Okay, water sign could be talking to a cross watcher that's a Gemini or Aquarius or Leap. Or you could have this all in your chart. Okay, fruition, fruition, seeker of flames. Okay, so fruition is being off. Um, also seeing extremes could be dealing with a younger air sign. Um, could be dealing with an immature energy mentally because I have you here assessing things and purifying seven of crystals sage of orbs and then I have a real immature um could be this Virgo Taurus Capricorn real immature energy overall fire energy seeker of flames your passion is within something in your brain in your mind the way you think something to do with your head and your hair Something like this. Sage of crystals. Okay, we got two sages here. Feminine energy. Two bad bitches, queens, upright, uh, mental, and money. Could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. However, I'm feeling like this other person, though. There's a person. Hold on. There's a situation, though, with the person. Let's get clear from my other cards at. Where my star cards at. Oh shit. Fall on y'all. I don't cut, edit, or delete. Just the good stuff. Y'all don't get to see when wrote and people be reading. Y'all don't get to see this stuff, but y'all get to see it here live. By the way, if y'all are feeling me, feeling my vibe, on my frequency, go comment, share, subscribe. You know, please leave a comment. I love talking with y'all in the comments. I love trying to answer any questions that I can about any spiritual awakenings. I'm not just a tarot oracle card reader. I am a teacher. And I study divination, scrying. I walk the hedge, okay? All right, spirit. Overall message. What can I tell my water signs? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Where are my cups at? Okay. Where my cups energy? Not really getting a lot of your energy here. I didn't get okay. Here we are. Got you now. So we start out with the five of cups in reverse. This purification process. We are no longer crying over spilled milk. Ooh, ooh. We are no longer crying over broken promises. Five of cups in reverse. Letting go of all that sorrow. Um, letting go of a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Like I said, there's a completion with that. We are purifying ourselves. Five of Swords in reverse. Four of Wands. Okay, so we have that uh, Aries, that air energy. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra in reverse. Um, the fight is over. The attack is over. Winning at all costs. Um, feeling like you've lost, though. You, you, you're actually winning. Feeling like your losses is a homecoming, coming back to your roots, coming back to where thing, how things used to be. Mentally, beginning to assess the situation, no longer missing um, them. Yep, 
There we are, the moon. Number 18, the moon, and 15, the devil, Virgo, Taurus. Look at this, Capricorn energy in reverse. This is the birth, okay? The devil is here. Warring with this Capricorn in reverse energy. Number 15. <sighs> Dealing with this devil energy. The moon card. Secrets are going to be revealed. Moderate needing temperance. Not temperance right here. This is beautiful. See, the temperance, he has one foot in the water and one foot out. Mm -hmm. Sagittarius energy. This is fake promises. Taking you through a lot of extremes. Very mint young. I'm feeling like an older person, but with young freaking mind. A young freaking mind. Not, this is not a give give relationship. And this is someone that is in your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's a lot of, um, let me see, there's um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. There's a Sagittarius, a little bit of fire. A little further. Yep. 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 Okay, so there was a tower moment. High Priestess in reverse. There was a tower moment. That threw you off not... Um, Seeking your passion, just seeking money. Could be with this Sage of Crystal. Could be with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There was a tower moment that has the High Priestess here. But why is the High Priestess in reverse here? For the water signs, the moon is upright. Five of Cups is in reverse. Why is the High Priestess in reverse for my water signs? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the Mount. within the home so there's not harmony within the home ten of cups in reverse tower moment um but it's cool though it's like this shit about to go down in the house it seems like you've been praying for this actually seems like you've been praying for this high priestess is in reverse the high priestess is not happy however she is all about her money though i see you i see that i feel that i am so pisces ten of cups so this 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 overall it's a blessing. Okay, Six the pinnacle is working on something. Definitely working on something. Working on something. Ten of Wands. This heavy burden, yeah. Ten of Wands. You're no longer fighting this, this, this tower. Scorpio energy is dead. Yeah. King of Cups in reverse with this manipulative energy, who pretends to be something that they are not. Seven of Wands. Just like I knew a completion with that energy. It's completion with that energy. Passions cut off. Love feelings which is not good for a water sign you know when you flip your switch there is see gemini's are two separate entities there are two different complete personalities but but a pisces can be positive happy inspirational as well as dark all in the same light and dark positive and negative all together is not separate it all embody one eight of pentacles yeah money looking good though working with your lunar energies Definitely a completion with an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Princess of Cups. Yeah, no longer in that young-minded situation. Let's wrap it up, Spirit. Let's wrap it up. Okay. Yeah, the Hermit in reverse depression. There was some depression because of something that was done sneakily, but it has come out with this Seven of Swords. And this hermit could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, the Virgo in reverse. It could be just dealing with depression. Really drawing away, like wanting to get away from the world completely. Yeah. Yeah. Six of Cups. Really just wanting to get back to your childhood and the Princess of Pentacles. Sage of Crystals. I mean, just really trying to focus on... 
on your business, on finances, not really seeing a lot of struggle, seeing the high priestess is just not happy, feeling un unhappy um, within the home, a tower moment within the home. But coming out on top, though, this is just a completion. And it looks like it was expected because we've been assessing the situation. All right, fire, I mean, water signs, fire signs. I just got done doing uh, water signs, yeah, again. I always speaking, uh, blessings over G certified and all members involved. And all the, they, they allow me to use their intro and their outro and all their information can be found in the description box. Baby. This was and is and will be Gangstar Tarot. Gotta go. I already know that a nigga I should get into the paper Yeah, I'm getting to the paper Bunch of blue Benjamin Franklins with the big faces And a whole lot of layers Yeah, I'ma chase them You can say the hustle in my nature G-certified money maker